Uh, welcome back to DJ Fossils. I've uh, been out for another fossil hunt at our special location and got a few beauties today. Uh, look at this size of this. I mean, it's wider than my hand. It's dinner, it's good foot wide. It's complete, 100% complete in there. Both sides are really, really good. They're beautiful, absolutely stunning. The mouthpiece is here, across there. So it's all complete, 100%. I think there's a maybe a tiny couple of little chips on the top edge, but and there's another little ammonite sat in there as well, just in there. So I'll probably get that's on the bits that are coming off. So I'll get that out as well while I'm doing it. So what else? We have got three finds of the day today. So we've got this one. This massive one here, I'm going to have to take it off this top edge off up there so it's going to be a bit smaller but it looks pretty good. You can see the centre's looking quite good there as well. Uh, that should prep up quite nicely. Uh, so we've got those two absolutely stunning beauties, the biggest two of the species we've found. We've also got a Nautilus that is complete or pretty much complete, it looks complete to me. So this might be a little bit missing off the edge there and stuff. So, but I'm happy with that find. That's a good one. I'm going to prep in that up in a bit. A uh, little partial here, but we got that to, as a to do as. Sorry, my video got switched off by my phone there. Um, yeah, we're going to give, do this one. I'm going to give this one away. Uh, but it's got some beautiful suture patterns on the, on it. So when that's so cleaned up a bit. Uh, I'll try and get off. Sorry, I'll try and get off some of that stuff. I mean, the other side isn't too bad, but it's got a bit of a dink in that side. But it's got some beautiful sutures, so I'm sure someone out there will want that. Uh, another little bit of a Nautilus, but it's complete on that side. It's only a little partial, but it's going to look nice. I've uh, got this one here as well beautiful colouring on it uh, we just wet it up and it comes up really pale uh, trying to get some of this mud off um, to check if it was going to be all right but yeah it looks like the uh, centers all right uh, obviously it's broken here and here but I'll take this piece off and luckily it's got a crack right by the end of the good bit so that bit was there you go it's going to come off and there you go done so I need to tidy up that end, get that side out there, it's a bit dirty and manky. But hopefully the centre's alright on it. But that's quite a nice one. Uh, loads of little bivalve shells and things like that. So, uh, this one's quite a nice one. Some of these were loose, just loose like this when, we, when they're like that, some little clams, we've got loads of those little dinky weird one there which is quite nice uh, nice little gastropod small what smaller than the ones we found before but it's quite nice it's complete as well it's got the top on it on this one whereas the others have got this little dinky top chopped off uh, a couple of other little tiny shells there oh, a bit of sand uh, a tiny little echinoid there so that's a basically a fossilised sea urchin. I uh, don't know if we're going to see the actual sea urchin patterning on the top when we clean it up or not, because it's usually on the outer edge, which is mostly knocked off, as you can see there. There's a tiny, tiny portion of it left. I've got a couple of those now. Uh, another little ammonite sat in a bit of rock, which looks complete, so that's a nice little one. Another little one there, took a different style. Again, looks complete. Nice shell, it's got a tiny little hole there, which is sand, is a bit sandy, but the rest of it is really nice, and the, and the uh, patterning's all there, which is really good. So, that's a nice little one when it's cleaned up. A few little small loose finds there. Uh, nice parking sonai there. Got a bit of a dink there, but it's complete inside that, so it should be all right on the other side. So helicopter going over, literally just right over our 
Uh, got Parker Sonai. I think this is the rare Costa. Uh, got a little bit of damage to the back side there, but they're quite hard to find. It's only the second one I've found out of all of the Ammonites so far, so still a good find because they are rare, hence the name. So, also got this another Parkinson eye. Hopefully, it's well uh, fossilized, so it should prep out nicely. Uh, I've got this block. And it's a bit weird, so we've got this weird thing on the end here. I don't know what that is. Uh, there's some, another weird little piece here. Again, don't know what that is. And on the other side, there's this. Which I don't know what that is. So, but there's a lot of those thin little bits. There's another piece there. So I, I thought, you know what, I'm going to bring that home and have a play with that piece and have a look and see what they are uncover those so moving on another nice little find in there uh, I think it's complete it looks to be uh, I can't see any broken edge on that side so I think it's all inside under there and this rock here oh yeah there we go Another one sat inside there. Oh. I try to do a video and helicopters, planes, everything going over. So, but yeah, that one's not too bad. That's complete in there with no damage. Uh, another one inside the block there. It's quite nice. That'll, I'll prep that one up and just and sell that one. It's got a little bit of a. Uh, turns out, don't know if that's. Yeah, it's. Play, I think. And another little pocket sonai of some type. I haven't ID'd this one yet, so don't know how well this is going to clean up because it's in that white, more white chalkier type stuff. So I don't know how well that's going to work. Uh, we've got a block there that's got one of those weird shells in it again. I'm going to say weird because they've got like little ridges, and we found one loose. So that's a, a, like a bivalve shell. It's really quite cool. Some sort of clam type thing, I think. I will ID them later. I haven't been able to find them yet. That's really nice. So we've got two of those. Big, uh, talking about bivalves, another big bivalve there. That's almost complete. There's a little bit to, to take off on the underside there, but like that. But that's a whole big bivalve shell. Uh, there's also uh, another big shell there, which is a bit damaged on the front edge, but I haven't got one like that. It's quite a big dome on it, so I thought I'd take that anyway. Uh, another little bivalve sat in there unfortunately got a bit of chip on the on the opposite side but hope a little bit of damage on that corner there as well in transit we did try and pack everything up but we had so much stuff and not enough things to pack in uh, that's another casualty it was a little shell with a bit of crystallization uh, at least some sort of thing another shell in there big one in there it looks to be some parcels in there as well so I think that's it for that piece, yeah. So just that big shell. Uh, another shell on there. So quite a nice one, that's all complete. It's lost its outer shelling, but the fossil of it's there, which is quite good. I don't think there was anything else on that piece. Oh yeah, so we've got that on that side and then it's literally on a partial on the back. So, a uh, couple of shells there need cleaning up. Don't know how good they're going to be. They're not brilliant. A few that bit of damage. Uh, another nice one in there. With this weird top to it. They have really strange shape. Uh, quite like that one. Uh, another one there that broke as we were getting it. But 
I quite like the fact that it's broken because it's showing the chambers so that would actually make a really nice display piece showing those chambers off like that they're absolutely stunning look at that but that's what the chambers look like with all the crystallization uh, can't remember what was oh so in this one there's just a tiny little one there and, and uh, another one there it's got some damage to it so but it looks like the other side could be okay so but that's it for that fossil hunt um hope you enjoyed looking at these so i'm going to get on with prepping some stuff and i'll hopefully show you some of this stuff once i've uh, prepped it uh, and pictures will be going up on instagram as well so just doing a quick video here um just something of interest so i've started removing the full nautilus or nautili uh, i've already id'd it i can't remember what it is off the top of my head it's got some weird name but that's coming out really nicely uh, so i've got a lot of work to do on that still but the colors absolutely gorgeous but what i wanted to show you i'll just move my pen away uh, so i had a look at this one which is by the looks of it not complete anyway but something really strange so i'm wondering if this got attacked and broken in half somehow because in the middle inside i've got something there i'm not sure if that's another nautilus or if it's a big sh clam sh type shell it's totally different to the normal clam shells that you get here which i've just pulled one of those off with they're smooth that one was in here somewhere as well but these are so it could be some bivalve or it could be another little one of the nautili but there's an ammonite there uh what else there so there's another one partial there but this is all there's a big one on the end right there there's another one in there another one underneath there uh, there was more as well I can't remember what and there's also sorry just rolling it off balanite going all the way through there which is where the shell would have been so this is making me think that this shell wasn't complete when it was fossilized because all this stuff oh look there's another big bivalve shell in there that's definitely a bivalve shell not an ammonite pretty sure of that but yeah there's loads of stuff all in the center of where this would have been so i'm thinking this got broken somehow before it was fossilized and all this stuff has then fallen on top or it's fallen on top of them before it's been uh, preserved but there's a lot of good bits and pieces in here it almost I'm gonna see if I can get some of these bits all showing and actually maybe leave it as a display piece with an autos one side with all the other bits the other depends because some of the bits are quite low down and there's a big crack running through there as well which looks like the whole thing could crack off so I might end up having to take that whole plate off anyway by the looks of it so I thought I'd just show you show you that because it's quite interesting the way that that's done that so but yeah it's coming on nicely so uh, I also got that tiny shell there a tiny gastropod out no I can't ID it though I don't know what it is so it's got some weird lines going down it needs a bit of a clean up still but it's still very nice 
but anyway that's it for now I just thought I'd show you that it's, it's uh, quite strange with all those bits coming through so but there's a lot of other bits in, in there in that piece of rock so I don't know whether to split it off completely and just have half of Nautilus and, and see what else is in the other there's another tiny one there as well it's absolutely packed with ammonites and shells and stuff I think there'd be too much in there to be able to display it as is without losing some of the bits and this is I like this that's definitely a clam actually it looks like it's got up see up down up down yeah I haven't got one of those so that's gonna be that's quite a nice little find in itself I was going to try and prep some of this off and just see how it looks with some of the bits as part of the display but there's something else there that could be another gastropod or an ammonite part but yeah there's so much to it anyway I'll uh, crack on with some more prep and I'll uh, see you guys later